we got an article about a German butcher selling raccoon sausages in a bid to combat uh, rampant uh, overbreeding by the raccoons that are basically overwhelming uh, his local uh, town. Um, before I read the article, can't why not just kill the raccoon? Why you got to eat? It? Do you know what I mean? That feels like a bad excuse, dude. I'm doing it to get rid of the raccoons. Plus, two for you know what I mean. Who? Well, I don't, I don't know if you remember that uh, story we did a while back about the lady who was feeding the raccoons and she basically got surrounded by a swarm of them. Remember. Yeah, yeah. How do you think? How, I, I have nightmares about that. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Um, so he, he sales of raccoon filled products soar. The feedback was so great, we decided to include it in our range. Before that, I'd always just thrown the carcasses away. His store is reportedly the first in Germany to sell raccoon sausages in what could prove to be an ingenious solution to the nation's worsening raccoon plague. Rice's products include raccoon breakfast sausage, a liver sausage, and even a soup made from the rodent bones. Okay. Here's the thing. I think... I bet... I think because any sausage is good. Let's be honest. Pork sausage good, venison sausage good, beef sausage good... The way they sausage up a sausage makes the sausage delicious. The one thing I think would make the sausage bad is if you just told me it was raccoon. Can't you just not? Nobody, it's like telling me what's in a hot dog. Just say sausage. What kind of sausage? It's just, it's sausage. Okay. But when you say raccoon sausage, all, all of a sudden I'm feeling pretty nauseous. Because I don't know why. I don't know. By the way, that raccoon looks kind of cute. He looks like a cat. Uh, dude, why are you going to eat that little dude? He looks pretty... Raccoon has a del delicate taste. It's difficult to describe, but if you eat one of my regular bratwurst and then a raccoon sausage, you know the difference. But why the... But bratwurst... I don't know what's in bratwurst. Why can't you just give it another name besides raccoon? Do you know what I mean? Like that, like... Here's the thing. There's just some animals, no matter how delicious they might be. Like if you were like, dude, rat is the most delicious meat in the world. Just don't tell me. Don't, don't. The thing that stops me from eating veal is that I know what it is. I'm a little upset by it. I just, I'm like, oh, poor buddy. Because if you know me, you know that I want a mini cow more than not to eat, just to have as my own. I would like a mini cat. So I don't, a little, little, a little buddy cow. They look so fun and happy. I don't know if they do this. Do cats make noises? Woo! Whatever. But I feel like it would sell better in the States, especially. I don't know how they do it in Germany. They do a little thing, things different in Germany. The one, my, <laughs> all right, I'm going to tell you a story, but I won't give you the guy's name. There's a guy who was on a tour that I was on and he wasn't, um, he was the merch guy on this tour. And we were talking about Germany. He was like, dude, I was in Germany for like three months. And I go, oh, how was it? He goes, can I tell you something? I go, what? He goes, everything's a little accelerated in Germany. I go, what do you mean? He goes, every girl I dated first date, she put her finger in my butthole. I was like, what? First date? He was like, dude, first date, finger in the butthole. Every single girl. And I was like, so raccoon doesn't surprise me in Germany. And even calling it raccoon. But first date finger in the butthole feels like a place where they'd be like, yeah, I'll try some raccoon. They feel a little over the edge in Germany. You know? I, I this, I mean, and this, and by the way, I'm not anti FIB. Do you know why I call it FIB? I dated this girl who was too <laughs> nervous she was like there are a lot of things i want to try i was like okay i go what she goes i'm too shy to say them. i'm gonna write them all down so she acronymed all of them and made me guess what they were i never guessed fib i'm like fib front i couldn't get it and then she was like fib finger in the butt i was like oh so these germans doing fib in the raccoon sausage I guess in, in a weird way connects with me. Not connects, but you know, dink or scissors. 
but I don't, I don't know if I'm eating it. If you tell me it's raccoon, I, is it gay? I wonder if it's fatty or not fatty. Um, Germany is facing an ever-growing raccoon plague. Personally, culled two hundred of the animal in his hunting district this year alone. Okay, I bet you. Here's what I bet. Okay, here's what I bet. I bet you that he killed a bunch, sold some, and since people were like, "This is delicious," he was like, "All right, let's let's try telling him." I, he sold some raccoon before he told people it was a raccoon, for sure. Just to see how it tastes. He probably tasted it. He was like, this is good, but I can't just go out and tell people I got raccoon because people are going to be like, what? And I know people eat possum and shit too. Uh, just don't tell me it's possum. As soon as they are hunted, more move in from neighboring territories. Really, to take their place. We've got to reduce their numbers because they're threatening amphibians, birds, and bat populations. This I understand. I understand... Because they're smart too. So, and those other animals you just talked about are not. So they probably fuck them up and they're trash pandas and they're in your shit. I get it. I get it. With the raccoon population soaring by 2 million, that's Rhode Island for fuck's sake. That's more than Delaware, I think. 2 million in this one area? Two, yeah, you gotta eat them. Or you know what you do? You go straight Dracula and you kill them and then you put your heads on, you had the heads on spikes and you're like, this is what happens for your kind if you come around here. You go intimidation. Or I guess, I guess so. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going, yeah. Just don't tell me is I guess what I'm saying. All right. Wow. Matt, where are you at with the raccoon sausage? Uh, I'm with you. I'm a little bit uh, hesitant about it, but um, you know, one time I went to New Orleans, I had alligator sausage. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, I had that too. Uh, and I don't feel as bad eating the alligator as I do the raccoon. It doesn't feel as weird to me. It's a giant animal. I don't know. Something about raccoon feels rodenty, which feels like eh, maybe not. But like I said, two million of them. Yeah, we got to start cutting down on that pop population. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.